Welcome to Grade A Fun. Yeah. All right. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. There is no painting in this video. So I don't want you to get disappointed and be like, hey, what's he gonna paint? By the way, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the channel. Man, that sounded mean. Subscribe to the channel. So anyway, this video is pretty much real time. I didn't speed it up, it's not time lapse. This is real time. And so with most of the paintings I do, they start out as drawings first. There is no rule that says that you have to start with drawing first. In general, there are no rules, just tools. That's a Vilpu quote. If you don't know who Vilpu is, Google that. Knowledge is power. So anyway, if, as you can tell, I, I usually start with just a big shape. Just trying to come up with something a little bit asymmetrical, play around with that. And then after that, I just start thinking about the features that I feel like painting for that day. So I decided, hey, I want to do a little snout. You know, I love doing the round eyes. I think they have a nice little cuteness to them. Besides, I get to do these big giant pupils. But one thing that's important is that this stuff is fun, yeah. right? I mean, if you're doing these for yourself and they're not fun, what in the world? Now, anyway, so I'm going through the process of just looking at interesting shapes, breaking up small, medium, large shapes. Of course, I go in there and indicate the pupils, and I do that really quick. I usually do sketch out where the highlight is going to be for the eyes. Um, sometimes I'll go back in and, I, and I'll put a little bit more emphasis on the line work because once I start slathering the paint on, yeah, slathering. Once I start slathering the paint all over it, sometimes the lines get really difficult to read and then I'll forget you know what my original idea is and what I was thinking about painting and and then if I if I have an opportunity to go on a tangent oh my goodness tangent town is real so what I'm doing here is I'm just going through making some surface contours so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm thinking about uh, when I do these paintings is that I'm trying as much as possible to think about the overall simplified volume and structure of the different parts just so that it feels like it has dimension again like these these things are not absolute necessities this is just the way that I look at things the way that I want to apply uh, paint so I can think about a light source and give them a nice solid volume but again like I said there are no rules you can approach this any way you want. If you want to make them big, flat graphic shapes, it's all up to you. But if you want to give them some dimension, it's a real quick shortcut to be able to visualize them having these surface contours so they feel like they have volume. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Grade A fun. Bam.